Happy Tuesday, boys and girls. It's another day, and we're going to do some math real fast. We're going to go back over money. So we have um, JFK, who John F., John F. Kennedy, who's on the 50-cent piece. George Washington, who's on the 25-cent piece. Franklin D. Roosevelt, who's on the 10-cent piece. Thomas Jefferson, who's on the 5-cent piece. And we have Abraham Lincoln on the 1-cent piece. So 50 cents, 25 cents, 10 cents, 5 cents, 1 cent. Remember, we needed... 100 of these to make 100 cents or $1. We needed 20 of these to make 100 cents or $1. We need 10 of these to make 100 cents or $1. We need four of these to make 100 cents or $1. And we need two of these to make 100 cents or one dollar remember 100 cents is one dollar so if i have 110 cents that if i have 110 cents that means i have one dollar and ten cents make sense does it make sense to you we're talking about cents hopefully it makes sense okay now let's get into our worksheet so pull out your worksheet for tuesday your money worksheet which looks like this and you're going to count all right, so let's go. You already know your dollars. Let's go with this one. We're going to count by 50s. 50 cents, 100 cents, 150 cents. What's 150 plus 25? That'd be 175 cents. So we have 175 cents. But are we going to leave it in 175 cents? We don't want to do that. So it's going to equal $1.75. We don't have to put the cent sign. We put the dollar sign. Okay, because we have... 50 plus 50 plus 50 plus 25. Right there, 50 cents and 50 cents equals what? 100 cents or, or $1. If I can write it the right way, or $1, right? Here we have 50 cents plus 25. So let's go 50 plus 25. 5 plus 0 is 5. 5 plus 2 is 7. Oh, and this is 75 cents. We're going to add them together. It's going to be $1.75. Does that make sense? All right. Understand? And so you're going to do the same thing down here. Add all these up and write the right answer in the box. Okay. Let's go to our next part. Let's move these out, out of the, move our monies up. We're going to erase this. All right. And we're gonna go into rounding our numbers. Now, some of you called me and asked me for help with this, and it's very, very simple. But now we're, round, we're still gonna be rounding to the nearest 10, okay? So, for, so remember, we have to have our place value, which we'll also get into tomorrow. We're gonna to spend a little bit of time on place value. But let's look at number one. 1,761. We have our ones place, tens place, hundreds place, thousands place. What are we rounding to? Notice it says round to the nearest 10. So where is our tens place? Ones, tens. Up. Oh, so let's circle our tens place and we look at the number right beside it. Now remember what we said. If this number is five or higher, means if it's five, six, seven, eight, or nine, it's going to round up to the nearest 10, which means it's going to change. Okay, so this is going to equal 1,700 and what? What's the nearest 10? 70. No, no, sorry. What is Mr. Vaughn saying? Because this is a 1, so it's going to round down to 60. Because if we took just 61, what are the nearest 10s on 61? It's 60 and 70. Is this, is this a 5 or higher? No, it's a 4 or less. So if this next number is 4 or less, it rounds down. If it's higher, it rounds up. So 17, 1,761 is going to round it to the nearest 10. It's going to be 1,760. This, you don't move this because you're only rounding to the nearest 10. Next week, we're going to round to the nearest 100. And that's where we're going to figure out a few more things, okay? Let's look at another one. Let's look at, um, let's look at number 14. Look down there at number 14. Number 14 says that it is 1,566. We're rounding to the nearest tens. So what do we do? We find our tens place. Ones, tens. Up. Oh, there's our tens. Let's circle it. 
and we're going to underline the next number. Is this number five or higher? So what numbers is going to round up to? We have our 60s again. It can round up to 70 or it can round down to 60. Are we going to round it up? Or are we going to round it? Are we going to round it up? Or are we going to round it down? Well, we look at the next number. Is it five or higher? Well, yes, yeah, six is higher than five, so we're going to round it where? Up. So this answer is going to be one thousand five hundred and seventy. Does that make sense? Okay. These are very easy because even though there's more numbers, it doesn't matter if your number is three, two, six, eight, four, nine, seven, five, two, one, three, six, nine, eight, two, one. Whatever this number is, thousands, millions, billions, trillions, quadrillions, right? Three quadrillion, 268 trillion, 497 billion, 521 million, 369,821. That's what that number is. You guys are all going to learn to count all these numbers. Round to the nearest tens. What am I going to do? I'm going to find my tens place. Ones, tens. Up. Oh, I'm going to circle my tens place. And I'm going to underline my one next to it. Is that five or higher? No, so I'm just going to round down. So my new number is going to be 3 quadrillion, 268 trillion, 497 billion, 521 million, 369,820. Because I rounded to the nearest 10. Now wait until I tell you, round to the nearest 100 million. You're going to go ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, hundred thousands, or ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions. Oh, you're going to round to the hundred millions. See? You just find your place value. That's all you got to do. But don't worry about that now. We'll learn about that. Just worry about figuring out how to round to the nearest tens. Because once you understand that, everything is easy. Especially when you get to the hundreds, which we'll do next week. That'll be so super easy. So the first thing you do, let's do one more together. Let's do number 10. Number 10 is 1,290. Round to the nearest 10, right? That's what we're doing. So we found our tens place. Ones, tens, hundreds, thousands. Ones, tens. Let's go to our tens place. Underline the next one. Is this five or higher? No, it's less than five. So what's our number going to be? So if you have 90, what's the closest 10? It's 90, which it already is, or it's 100. Which one is it going to round? Is this going to round down to 90? Or is it going to round up to 100? Well, of course, it's just going to be 1,290. It doesn't even change because 90 is the lowest 10 it can go. Okay, does that make sense? So I want you to do all 15 of these. This should take you a few minutes. It's very easy. So get those done and turn those in. And we'll see you tomorrow for place value where we're going to go over more place values. Bye.